Uh, uh, yes, here the question paper is in front of you of 12th standard. Uh, so today we are going to just to see like uh, what kind of uh, uh, questions you'll have in your paper. So reading part. So passage is given and the uh, MCQ formed questions are there. Uh, first children, you'll be, you know, getting the paper downloaded and you'll have the hard copies with you today of this paper and you will solve it on your own. We won't discuss anything out of the reading skills right now. You do it first and to tomorrow we'll be discussing the, this reading part also. Okay. So first task is get the paper downloaded, get its printouts and do the, uh, do solve the paper. And tomorrow in the class, we will discuss. Reading part you do first on your own. Right now I'm coming to the writing skills part. Yes. So yesterday we discussed how to write a notice. Am I right? Did we discuss it? Uh, did we discuss how to write a notice? Okay. So here now you are getting the kind of question you will be getting in the paper. So see the question, the president of RWA, Shelvor Heights, Cozy Code has to put up a notice to inform the residents about a power cut for their residential area. So that's the question you can say that is the content of the notice. So the uh, president of this society has to inform the residents about a power cut for their residential area. Got it. Now the question is select the appropriate title for the notice. What title will you have out of these four? Choosing own power cuts, scheduled power cut, the need to save power, power and residents safety. So you people can send the answer through your chat. I'm uh, making this op open. Yes. Okay, Jatin, uh, Jatin, Riddhi. Okay. Yes, option B is correct. Scheduled power cut. So B option is correct over here. Scheduled power cut. Why not choosing own power cuts? Because it's not about the choice the president is telling the residents. Why not the need to save power? Because it's not about the philosophy, power and resident safety. It's not about safety. So it's about the information the president is giving to the residents that there will be a power cut and it is scheduled. When you're telling that it will be so, it means that you have scheduled it. It will be from this time to this time. Okay, scheduled power cut. So this makes us feel, this makes us know or uh, emphasize upon the fact like, yes, when we write the notice, then we have to be after the facts. Okay, notice writing is about facts. It's not about philosophy. It's not about opinion. So Riddhi beta, not D option because there was not at all any mention of any safety. Read the question again and there, when you are to inform the residents of your society that there will be a power cut from this time to this time, it means that you are telling them about the schedule of the power cut. Okay, you are not going to give them a lecture on uh, like whether we should go for a uh, we should save power or there, should, there is power and resident safety. So when there is a scheduled power cut, it's not about safety. Okay. So B option is correct. Yes. 
Okay, now next question is select the option that lists the most accurate opening for the notice. Very important. So select the option that lists the most accurate opening for the notice. Like what should be the first sentence of your notice? First option is greetings and attention, please, to one and all in Shav in Shelviewer Heights. So second option is this notice is written to share some news with you all about. Third is this is to inform all the residents about the dash dash. Fourth is I wish to share with all officials of RWA that. So out of these four, what is the correct answer? Yes. Yes. Yes, Manat, Kavya, Samridhi, Riddhi, Kavya, Ashut, Ashutosh, Japanjot. Yes. So the option you people are telling is C. C option you are telling is correct. This is to inform all the residents that about the power cut, scheduled power cut from this time to this time. It will be like this. So that is correct. Like it is to inform all the residents. Yesterday also I told you that we have to start our notice with the target group. So the target group has come. Like it is for the residents. And second, I told you the second thing is about the purpose of writing notice. Like what's the purpose? The purpose is information about the scheduled power cut. So this is to inform the residents about the scheduled power cut. Then the other details, date or time or whatever. Got it? So C option is correct. Now let us see why A is wrong. Why is A wrong? Greetings and attention, please. Who will tell me? Who will tell like why greetings and attention please is wrong? Raise hand. Who will tell like why is A option wrong? Yes, who will tell? Garv will tell. Garv of roll number 16, Garv. Unmute yourself, Garv. When I talk to somebody and if the child doesn't respond, the child will be marked absent. I want to talk. I'm saying why is greetings and attention please wrong? Amritpal will tell. Is Amritpal there? Amritpal, raise hand if you are there. He's not there, I guess. Okay, Ashutosh. Ashutosh. Ashutosh, if you're listening to me, raise hand. Okay, so those who are not uh, uh, responding, Devanshi send me their names separately. Okay, Gurjot Singh, role number 15. Amritpal, wait, wait, I'm coming back to you. Uh, okay, Amritpal, unmute yourself. Yes, Amritpal. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Amritpal. Ma'am, am I audible? Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, you are. Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, but yes, you are audible. Yes. Why is A option wrong? Greetings and attention, please. 
we are to choose the most accurate opening for the notice and the uh, amritpal i guess you joined right now what's the correct option option from these amritpal yes amritpal ma'am it is not formal no first you tell me like what's the correct option amritpal do you know what's the question we are discussing yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so we are to find out the correct option first what's the correct option ma'am c option yeah so now tell me why is a option wrong ma'am it is not uh, as formal as the c option but why is it not as formal what's the like reason behind it exact fact what's the exact reason Uh, Ma'am, the person is uh, uh, using the word greetings and attention, please, as if uh, it is a speech or he is actually yes, speaking to good. them. Very good. That's the correct answer. We give the speech when we are speaking, when we are uh, giving a speech on stage. Then this is the way: greetings, good morning, everybody, and attention, please. Right. So A option is wrong because that is the beginning of a speech, not of notice. and secondly children always go after the fact if you say like ma'am it is very long it is very uh, it is very formal it is very informal that's not the answer to this question the answer is like this is the beginning of a speech not of notice we always start a speech like good morning everybody good morning everybody means greetings okay now uh, what why is b option wrong amritpal the notice is written to yes, students why is b option wrong ma'am the person is using the second person pronoun with you all ha ah, that is also very correct 100% correct your answer like this notice is written to share some news with you so here you is not required first person and second person pronouns are not required because notice is written in third person okay and that third person is only uh, writing something from neutral point of view and one more reason is there uh, it is not required to write in the notice that this notice is written to share some news of course the new notice is for sharing news it's not to be said like this notice is written to share remember when you writing a notice you are writing it because you want to share some information then why to say that this notice is written to share the news okay so this very beginning is also wrong okay c option this is correct we have already discussed so fourth option i wish to share with all officials of rwa so why is the d option wrong jatin will tell us amritpal you mute yourself well done okay now jatin uh, unmute yourself yes ma'am ajay why is a d option wrong ma'am it is in first person yes very good we don't start notice with first person very nice one more thing what's the other mistake yes what's the other mistake mm and it is no, uh, the notice is not informing the residents it is informing the officials of rwa uh, shelago heights very good correct so number one it was written in first person that's why it is wrong secondly here it is using the word officials whereas this notice is meant for all the residents so the target group is wrong in this notice okay so it is only c option which is conforming to all the rules that it is uh, talking about the right target group secondly there is no first person and second person and there is number 3 the very purpose is coming up in the very first line so very correct now see question number 21 select the option with the information points to be included so select the option with the information points to be included in the body of the notice 
So what information points will come in the body of the letter? Number one, opinion about regular power cuts. Will this information come? Resolution for power cuts. Reason for the power cut. Timings of the power cut. Complaint against regular power cuts. Date of power cut. So out of these six, first of all, you people in your own mind decide like which, which things the writer will be adding in the notice. Will he talk about opinion about regular power cuts? You can send chat no or yes. Yes, no. We will not talk about the opinion. Mind it, notice is about a fact. No opinions. Resolution of power cuts. The writer is only asking, is only going to inform the public or the residents about power cut. He is not going to make a resolution. Okay? It's not at all about resolution. Reason. So reason for the power cut is required. Like why there will be a power cut? Then timings are must. That is the most important thing. Complaint against regular power cuts. The writer is going to inform, not about complaint. Then date. Yes. So D option. Yes, very all of, all of you are giving correct answer. So D option, that is reason for power cut, timings of the power cut, and date of power cut. So these three reasons are to be given. These three points will be added. So option number D is correct. Now, 22 question is, would this notice reflect the name of the RWA? Would this notice reflect, means will the writer write the, write the RWA on the top of the notice? The, uh, what is your answer? First of all, yes or no? Yes, correct. Yes. Yes, because it is the issuing body. B option, no, because it is understood through the signature. Because when the person will be signing, then people will come to know that he is the uh, official president of the society. So they will understand, but this is not correct. Yes, because it makes it informal. Wrong. The op answer is wrong. Though the uh, RWDA will be written, but it doesn't mean that it make it informal. No, because the title makes it clear. So all these options are, out of these options, A is correct. Yes, because it is the issuing body. So on the top, we write the name of the institution or organization or society, the one from where the circular is being issued. Yes, A option. Now question number 23 is, select the appropriate conclusion for the notice. How will you conclude the notice? Number one, stay informed. Then he says collaboration solicited. What is collaboration? That is cooperation. Cooperation solicited. Third, stay prepared. Fourth, inconvenience regretted. So what is the most important thing out of this? When as a president, when the president is informing the society about uh, uh, the power cut, he is giving, telling them time uh, and uh, reason and all. So what, how will he conclude the notice? Will he say, stay informed? He has already informed. It is he who is informing. Jatin, you are saying C informed. C option, okay. How can you, you are already informing. Then how can you tell the public to stay informed? Hmm? Okay, then there are children, those who are saying B option, collaboration solicited. So if they will not cooperate, will you not give a power cut? So cooperation solicited. It's okay, but uh, it's not from the notice point of view. Mind it. Because you are not taking their permission. Mind it. You are informing them. If you were, Jatin, uh, okay, okay. Okay, beta. You were giving answer of the previous question, okay? So now stay prepared is not correct because you are not giving them warning. 
collaboration solicited is not required because you are not seeking their permission stay prepared again warning inconvenience regretted because you have already caused them inconvenience you telling them it will be there power cut will be there so inconvenience regretted is the correct option d option is that clear okay now let's come to the next question vinu is a member of coexistence a school club that actively promotes animal animal rights and care he has to write an article emphasizing the need for prevention of cruelty to animals and peaceful coexistence between animals and human rights so the article is to be written by vinu on the need for prevention of cruelty to animals and peaceful coexistence between animals and human beings got it now when the article first question the writer is giving select the option that lists an appropriate title for vinu's article so what will be the correct title here now options are man and animal a struggle to coexist second option is the rehabilitation and conservation of species third is remodeling the future by peaceful coexistence number four smart moves survival of the fittest so out of these four which uh, title you think is most appropriate as per the title given by the given in the question see that okay emphasizing the need for prevention of cruelty need what's the need to prevention prevent cruelty and peaceful existence why should we prevent cruelty to cruelty to animals that prevention is required to make our future better one if today we will kill animals the whole ecosystem will be disturbed and the future will be unsafe so the c titles remodeling the future by peaceful coexistence is most suitable the others you know they don't talk about the need you have to bother for the word need over here okay your this word needs make you go for the right selection okay title a balanced animal a struggle to coexist that is totally irrelevant because there the writer is this title means that you have to talk about the way these two things are struggling to coexist that is not our topic second is the rehabilitation and conservation of species so what is rehabilitation when already the damage has been caused and you are uh, uh, compensating for that when you are trying to put the things back to order so that is rehabilitation so are you going to talk about the rehabilitation and conservation of species that yes conservation will be the talk of the article but not the as it is matter so remodeling the future by peaceful ex coexistence so this is the most appropriate because that will cover up the need okay children today you people download and uh, have the hard copies in your hand and solve the question number 25 20 then uh, even for visually impaired candidates it's there but even then you can read this question then question number 26 from this very writing skill it is question number 27 28 29 30 they are all from this very article so solve up till page number up till this you know question number 30 so solve all these 30 questions today tomorrow we'll have a uh, you know we'll discuss these questions please come uh, after having solved the paper keep the hard copy in your hand please and if possible try to write the answers on an omr sheets made by yourself okay okay thank you tomorrow we'll see with the same question paper okay any any question any doubt 
any doubt no okay i will send you the link of this question paper not the individual link rather i'll be sending you the complete link of the whole papers then you people can download english the your name topic of your subject is english core okay 301 that's the code of your language english core okay thank you children